welcome to our event tech vlog. We're going to KL Pack today for October Pop. I'm Alex. I'm Valerie. Indy. Joe. Alicia. <laughs> So we're here for October Pop, which is KL Tech's symphonic band that will be covering pop songs. And we'll be covering the event technology used in this band. Let's go! October Pop, uh, obviously through the, the title, it's all pop music. Um, we would like to include different types of pop, the Western Asian, which is the K-pop, the J-pop. We have a P-Ramley, so that's a kind of Malaysian pop, which is one popular music, um, etc. So um, initially, this was actually a, a concert, that, a fundraising concert, that we wanted to, to do it in May. But, you know, so because of the MCO, so we couldn't, you know, materialize the wish. So we, then we moved it to October pop. Um, so it was something else with the title, actually, yeah. As October Pop focuses on live music, a good sound system is essential. Some of the input group equipment that was used during the performance were shotgun mics, which were to record stereo sounds, and dynamic mics to capture the live acoustics. There was also an amp and pedals placed for the bass. What is really needed for um, um, this sort of shows is a fully digital system with a binary speakers and a recording system that is digitally connected to each other. So yeah, in order for us to record the whole um, production properly and um, with good sound quality. The FOH or front of house console is at the back of the hall where all the mixing equipment is arranged. KL Pax console features a 48 channel multi-track audio mixer that can capture all the individual instruments along with an instant replay soundboard. Unlike other performances, October Pop relies solely on the live acoustics of the instruments, hence all the audio equipment is used for recording purposes only. For an event like this, of course, um, because they are more into the importance of recording, being able to record it digitally is the most important part of it all, to get nice, clean and crisp sound. The, the, the advanced technology is the design of the hall itself, instead of gadgets and you know all this. Um, so it's it's really go back to the the basic, the design, uh, the acoustics, um, etc. So so really for for us because we are we, are, we don't mic. There's no miking, so it's really acoustic. So the design of the hall it's really important for us. Yeah. Lighting is also essential when it comes to October Pop, as the symphonic orchestra has to be featured. KL Pax Pantas 1 has a wide range of lighting, with them utilizing spotlights and automated moving lights. Because the performance focuses on the music, the lights help illuminate the players and shines a spotlight on them. With the rest of the hall dim, it allows the audience to focus on the players and the emotions of the music. The lighting control console is placed together with the mixing equipment at the FOH behind. Another piece of lighting technology used is a projector that was used to project the backdrop behind the musicians. The projector is connected to a laptop that changes the background to match the performance that is ongoing. Because this is a simple performance with the intention of fundraising, there isn't much special technology like pyrotechnics or lasers, which are more common for concerts held in larger venues. The focus of this show is simply the music and the performance of the musicians. With that said, October Pop uses a simple ticketing technology which is a QR code on their tickets. Before entering the stage, we had to show our e-ticket to have the QR code scanned. We're done with the show! It was a great show! It was so good! Yes. We hope you enjoyed our video! Because we did! That's right! Bye! Bye. Support Kale Pack! Support Kale Pack! Woo! Kazumi! Oh no! Let this be a journey.